بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته The day of Ghadir, 18th Al-Hijjah is a tremendously special and important day in Islam The day marks the celebration of the divine appointment of Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam by the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala to be the vicegerent of the final messenger Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Now, according to over 110 of the Prophet's companions, including Abu Dhar, Umar ibn al-Khattab, Zubair ibn al-Awwam, and Aisha, as well as 360 Sunni scholars and historians throughout the centuries, the Prophet of Islam stopped thousands of Muslims when they were coming back from Hajj at a place known as Ghadir Khum. It was midday, and he gave a famous sermon in which he raised the hands of Ali السلام, and declared him the leader of mankind after him. The fact that many Muslims don't know or celebrate Eid al-Ghadir doesn't take away from its magnificent status because we find in narrations that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam himself would inform Imam Ali السلام, to hold it as a day of Eid as prophets before him did so as well. It is narrated that the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him and his family said, the day of Ghadir Khum is the greatest Eid of my people. And that is the day when God perfected religion and completed his blessings upon my people and approved Islam as their religion. Hence, Eid al-Ghadir is known as Eid Allah al-Akbar and the Eid of Ali Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon them. Of course, in Islamic teachings, an important aspect of the celebration of the day of Eid is the worship of the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala, which results in abundant mercy and reward from Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are a number of highly recommended deeds to perform on the 18th of the Hijjah, and here are some of them. Number one, fasting. According to a narration from Imam al-Sadiq the fasting of Eid al-Ghadir is more rewarding than fasting 60 months of the four sacred months, the special four months designated in the Holy Quran. Now you might be asking, how is fasting allowed on the day of Eid? Well, Islamic law is based on specific instructions we extrapolate from Quran and Sunnah. Fridays are known as the day of Eid in Islam, yet fasting on Fridays is allowed. Specifically, only the two days of Eid al-Fatr and Eid al-Adha have the prohibition of fasting. Number two, ghusl. The best time for this is before midday, although any time during the day of Eid al-Ghadir is also highly rewarding. Three, salah. A recommended prayer on the day of Ghadir is a two-unit salah, which you can recite any chapter after Surah Al-Fatiha, afterwards followed by a sajda of expression of thanks towards the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala and a dua recommended from the Ahl al-Bayt This dua can be found in books of supplication and the link for it is found below the video. Another two unit salah is the following. It's the recitation of Surah Al-Fatiha followed by 10 times Surah Al-Ikhlas, 10 times Ayat Al-Kursi and 10 times Surah Al-Qadr in each rak'ah. The reward for this salah is immense and according to narrations it's greater than the thousands of recommended hajj and umrah as well as fulfillment of wishes by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number four, throughout the day fragrance your lips with the recitation and the utterance of salawat upon Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad and the distancing away bara'a from the enemies. It's the day that brought happiness to their hearts. So ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for their intercession in both worlds. Five, ziyaras. There are a number of ziyara recitations of Imam Ali alayhi salam recommended on the day of Ghadir. The best amongst them is what is known as ziyarat aminullah. Recite this in Arabic as well as the language that you actually understand. And don't forget to recite the Turuk Asala of ziyara afterwards. Pray for the opportunity to pledge allegiance with a physical ziyara of the shrine of Imam Ali salam in Najaf very soon, inshallah. Number six, recite dua in nudba to pledge support and commitment to the grandson of Imam Ali salam, the awaited savior, Imam al-Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance. Number seven, being a day of celebration, it is recommended to feed the poor and give charity. Charity, according to narrations, is multiplied by 1,000 times on a day like Ghadir. Eight, 
it is recommended to shake the hands of other believers, congratulate them, visit them, and say to each other, Alhamdulillah alladhi ja'alana min al-mutamassikina bi wilayati amir al-mu'mineen wal-a'imma alayhum salam It's also recommended to say to each other, perhaps in your own language, the following, Akhaytuka fillah I declare my brotherhood with you for the sake of Allah. Wasafaytuka fillah I establish friendly terms with you for the sake of Allah. Wasafahtuka fillah and I shake hands with you for the sake of Allah. Wa'ahattu Allah wa malaikatah I promise Allah his angels wa kutubahu wa rusulah his books and his messengers wa anbiya'ahu wal a'immatu al ma'sumin his prophets and the error-free, sinless imams. Alayhim salam peace be upon them, ala anni in kuntu min ahl al-jannati wa shafa'ah, that if I will be an inhabitant of paradise, allowed to intercede for others, wa adhina li bi an adkhul al-jannah, and if I will be allowed paradise, la adkhulaha illa wa anta ma'i, I will not enter it unless you accompany me. This is a wonderful way to establish the strength of wilaya, brotherhood, sisterhood, love amongst the believers in society. 9. There is also emphasis on this day in hadith to do acts of good and kindness to others, to spread love and help people. I found narrations that encourage taking loans to help out others. Imagine to that extent. It's also recommended to give gifts to family members and express joy and happiness at home highlighting to the children and others that it's a very special day, as well as using the opportunity to inform them of what happened on the 18th of the Hijjah, as well as what the wilaya of Imam Ali salam means practically. Also, don't forget to attend celebration programs in the mosque, Husayniya Imam Bargaz, as much as possible. Number 10, finally, there is no doubt that Imam Ali salam has a special place in our hearts. The day of Ghadir naturally brings out a great sense of joy, commitment and loyalty within us. The chanting of his name on a day like this brings forth a sense of connection to Amir al muminin and what he stood for. It's also a very important day to remember the Holy Prophet Muhammad wasallam and how he delivered the message of Islam and wilaya impeccably. Therefore, on the day of Ghadir, it's important we set a few moments for self-reflection and contemplation. How much have I benefited from the Holy Prophet and Imam Ali? Have I understood their lives and values? What positive change can I introduce today inspired by them? Congratulations to you all and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your deeds.